We've caused so much damage to Nydia Flores' network that El Sueño decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter before the Sicarios get to them. Nomad, the activity thinks it's got a 20 on Special Agent Sandoval's body. Word is Sueño's people may be holding it until they can destroy all evidence of him. I need him, you understand? I have to bring him home. I owe him that. These cartel fucks have a way of making bodies disappear. You need to find him before that happens. Roger that, Bowman. We leave no man behind. I guess Santa Blanca owns this too now. They've got their hands in every Bolivian industry. The billion dollar question is who's buying from them? Oil from drug cartels and terror groups, minerals, they all get into the market somehow. is airborne. Shit. Sueño's people are hitting the Hacienda now. Let's move. Oh. Guys ready? Fire. Roger. Engaging tangos.
I got eyes on Nydia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuidenla! Valeria! Get on that helicopter! Mama! No! You wanna kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is gonna lay a hand on my daughter. We don't want to hurt you or your daughter. We want Sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Hold it there. Like I'm gonna trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up this, Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. I requested a vehicle from the Rebels. Camp settling down. They must think we've left. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. People are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrons who turned El Sueño against me in the first place. Our life was good before you came along. Your life was on permanent fast forward and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. After you destroyed all of it. My life's work, everything I had. Well, not everything. Searching this location for intel. El jefe is a very big hombre, like uh, a monster truck. I heard he's very tall. You don't like El jefe. I, I don't like him either. Mija, stop talking. Close your mouth. You don't like El jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No, I don't like him because he has no hair. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Karenia. Whatever happens, just remember that mama loves you. Okay, mama. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had, and all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. 
Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained laid there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything, and she paid me back by running like a coward, instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces.